Hi, my name is Laura Martinez. I'm about to watch live lecture with Miss LA. Um, I'm just waiting on her to accept me into the live lecture. Um, today is July 6, 2022. Um, and we're going to go over chapter 9, massages or whatever. So here I am just waiting. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm recording, right? They don't see you. This is not real food. <laughs> Leave it there. I think this is from Daddy. No, this is from me. I brought it. Can you eat your food off? If you finish your food, you can eat some. I ate my... Oh, no, eat your food when we go to the Grandma and Grandpa's house. Bunny. No, that's gonna be nasty. All right, go watch your show, bro. That might be my victim of blood. Come on, girl, lips. I do, 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 do. I do, 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 do. I'm about to start class right now. Oh, no, stop. What are you go and watch TV? <laughs>
It is 5.36 and I'm still waiting for Miss LA to accept me into her live lecture. I'm just waiting. Do mm. you know who's Silken? Who? Who's Silken? No, no. He's a baby dinosaur. Mm. And then? He's a red baby. You are recording me. What happened to your hand? I don't know, but that looks like mine. Look, it's a mine's with more riddle. Mm, it's a really little. It's a scab. Our skin does that to protect us. What? Our skin to heal it? us. To heal us. To like not make anything hard. Mm hmm. Oh. To go back to normal. It is 5.40 and I'm still waiting for Miss LA to accept me into the live lecture for today. Um, let me try again.
Mm. It's vitamins, Abraham. Mm -hmm. Candy <laughs> No, just regular vitamins. <laughs> Vitamins to grow big and strong like you. I'm not that big. I'm not that big. I'm not that big. No need to find my mommy. Hmm? I just didn't find my mommy. You need to be big to defend your mommy? No, I just really. I'm going to talk, I want, I want to talk, thank God for God to be a big Tyrannosaurus Rex to save you from okay. any people who can save you. Thank you, Bob. You're I'm right. trying to get a friend to help me. A friend? Mm. I'll make a team like we don't talk. Mm -hmm. I can walk. Hi, Miss Alay. It's nice to have everybody back.
Yeah, this last one. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, let's talk a little bit. <laughs> so I will show you guys how I like to apply massage gel cream and then I'll have Cynthia can come in and show you guys her. And if anybody else is that shy about their massage technique, if y'all have something that y'all wanna show off. I do. This is his idea, Leslie. I do. I thought all y'all did some pretty decent with some of it. I was like, okay, all right, they're playing with me today. And normally, y'all know I like to work with the gloves, but just for you and Darlene today, and here's this in in contact with the mannequin. <laughs> so. Again, I would still introduce myself even if I was <laughs> So I would introduce my touch, and I have my product already on my hands. I didn't put a lot for Darlene because she's not going to absorb the same way. She's still going to be smooth, so it's a lot easier to advise her. But when I like to apply it, I actually go for the cheeks and jaw area first. And then I go ahead and press a little bit of the product onto their forehead. The reason I do that is so if I'm working up from the bottom and working on their face, sometimes you may realize you get to the top and you're like, oh, I'm out of product. And then you're like, ooh, breathe again. I didn't dispense this previously, but now I'm going in and then y'all see all the bottles are shining. So this way I already know I've lubricated her face pretty nice. So because I've already got, I'm mean, going to be like that girl. <laughs> Don't play this so much, <laughs> girl. But this way I know I've already pressed a little bit on her cheeks and jaw area, and I've already got her forehead also. So it's a lot easier to just burst the products in. And then I always know that there's still a little bit in my palms if I need to work up a little bit. So if you're that person that gets to the top and you're like, oh, wait, then if you were that person that also introduced your touch by using the headband or her draping, then you can rest the palm there, scoop a little. Or spread it out as you need so that way you still have a little bit of reserve on your hand. So you can just easily work your product up. And it's really just checking your pressure, checking see how they feel. Small circles always feel great. That's a part of your petrifage. Again, I know yesterday I talked about using Did I get the Yeah, like glance up so I didn't know. Ah. Uh, I talked about doing the chin pull, and a lot of people like to do both at the same time. I like to do one side at a time because for some people it may feel like you're splitting their chin by pulling both sides at the same time. Or if they have looser skin, kind of skin and cellular, they're a little more mature, they may feel like you're kind of choking them because then you're pulling that skin taut. You don't know, see what happened? <laughs> I have to 
to, to look here with my shoulder. So for me, ergonomically, I don't like this effectively using my thumb. But I will happily use either both of my pointer fingers or my middle fingers to go one side or the other. And again, this is a space where you don't want to do both at the same time. Because then <laughs> we really will have to leave the body. <laughs> and we're going to call the coroner because you're suffocating an old girl. I know Aubrey mentioned she was watching one of the videos the other night, and as the lady was going over his nostrils, she was scissoring over his nostrils at the same time, and you can see him, <gasps> like, gasping like a guppy, because he could not breathe, so these are things you have to think about when you are truly going in with your ergonomics, and ensuring that this is a pleasurable massage for your guests, and it is not... Because, I mean, there's stimulating massage, but this, we don't want to. <laughs> and you don't think about it too much until you're actually going over somebody's nasal passage, and then you can kind of see them, like, like trying to coordinate <laughs> how to yeah. inhale. And it's like, oh, that's supposed to be relaxed. They have to coordinate how to inhale. But just work your way up the face, whether you're working on your effleurage movement, you can easily anchor your... Palms. I know I have bigger palms, longer fingers. I like to tell y'all that people don't believe me, so they put their hand next to mine, they're like, oh, you have bigger hands. So for me, I can actually anchor my palms usually on somebody's forehead and reach their entire face and work my way up. For some of you guys, it may be a little different. So your massage technique may look very different, and it is okay as long as it still looks smooth and soothing and relaxing. So I would love for you guys tonight to work on what is your 10-minute massage routine? And really, don't even think about it as a 10-minute routine. Think about actually doing like your effleurage and petrissage for maybe four to five minutes each. And so if you go four minutes for each of those and do four rounds, so if you do your effleurage for one minute over the entire face and it takes you a minute to work your way up, choose a song that you know it takes you about a minute to sing through or something that you know you listen to is about a minute and work your way to the top, get to the temples, pause, and move back down for that second minute. And then that's an easy way for yourself to keep track of your timing so that way you're like, okay, I've done this one four times. And also it keeps it symmetrical and then you know what you did. So that way when they come in the next time, they're not like, you skipped that one thing that you did that last time that I like. Why you don't do that anymore? Because if you just have your one simple routine where it's like, okay, chin, chin, jaw, jaw, work into the cheek, going up to the forehead, like, make your own, you don't have to sing it out loud, just, <laughs> just having your own technique where it's like, okay, this is how I'm finishing off, this is how I get to the top of my entourage, and then getting into the temple, like, okay, that's my one minute, and then go back and do that three more times, that's four minutes on your entourage, and then working through your four minutes of petrissage. And it's easy. You know, usually your supposement you'll save for your very, very end when you're trying to get them to wake up. So more so in your <laughs> just get up. When you're in your dermal layering is when you're going to do a little more of your supposement rather than while you're in your touch therapy because you're still gonna go in with your mask after so it still wasn't gonna be pretty relaxed. But things like your vibrating if you're using that when that can also help stimulate the skin and wake them up a little bit. So if you want to start waking them up during massage with that when you can, or when you're doing friction, which friction can be done all over the face, really just a sequence of making little, some sort of little S's, little C's, little circles, but you are really just, whether you're using your thumb and working back and forth over the face, and it can still also be done in the cheek area, so whether you want to use the thumbs for that, if you want to use your middle fingers, if you're the person who's like, no, use my ring fingers, they're not as strong, I won't hurt people. So for the thing, like I play flute, so my ring fingers are probably extra stronger than middle fingers. And they're like, no, apply it with your ring for uh oh, this bad boy is I'll have to prove that. I love that. But just going over their face, doing your friction, and you would think this doesn't cause a lot of friction, but if you really press down and go a little slower, apply a little more pressure. It actually does apply a little more friction. It especially does feel good to those areas where, like, maybe they have the 11 in the middle from pulling their eyebrows together or raising them up. 
you can really feel. <laughs> She's like, and trying to say, what? <laughs> what do I need to do? So yeah, this is my face with Queen on here. That was back with the radio frequency just on her face. Yes. Oh, you should have thought when she turned around. show you 
going over the forehead and then you get into the scalp before you leave the body. And you'll be shocked. If, as soon as you get to their hairline, like an inch back, their whole body just like, like. <laughs>
proud of because if y'all stay with their life in one more year, you will notice that some of the products that you may have loved circulate their way out and then we will come back in because I know they put an asterisk by the phyto oil and I was like, yeah, that's Thank you. 
other people are forgetting about that one, so combo it. Trash bag, so the students would take a trash bag and a warm roll towel and they would put it. 
in the trash bags and put that under the plant so it would be nice and warm when you get started. And that way as you massage around as things would drip off to the side, they were just dripping around the little bag. So you didn't have to worry about like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this little dirty bit. But nope, it's right there at the bag. Wipe right around it. That was actually nice and warm. So then they were warm on their neck, they would relax a little faster. Yeah. What's happening? No, I'm pulling the bus. Don't slap your shoulder and don't asphyxiate people. And check in to make sure you remove all the massage cream. Don't leave anything in their nostrils, behind their ears, jawline. And that's a state more tip. Because when you go and take your test, that's when they check to make sure you didn't leave product behind on your test when you do the practical. And check around the ears on your mannequin, underneath your jawline, the corners of the mouth, and up in their nostrils. So a lot of times when you're working, you can't tell on stage board that you've got something in the mannequin's nose. And they're like, oh, you didn't wipe off all your product. Cool. Sweet deduction. Once you got baby, clean the nose. Wipe the nose out. Corners of eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did you, I, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll find out. So, yay. Okay. Anybody, any other massage ahas? Aha! Y'all are still in school right now. If you want to have a massage video playing on your phone next to you while you're working and mimicking that massage, that is absolutely fine. Like, nobody's stopping you from doing it. Like, you can have your phone playing right next to you, and if nothing, I'm like, good idea. Hey, <laughs> just like, I'm like, you cheated incomplete on your grade sheet. That's not how it's and nothing I'm like, complete, star plus on that one. You went with up a technique, like, yeah, of course. Also, watch that. And then, like, the first Yeah, it becomes a 24-minute video, because she's talking through the... And that's when I was adding the link and stuff with the board. I was like, okay, good. So, yay! We've learned how to not asphyxiate our clients. You learn to leave the body, not at a dump site, but how to properly leave the body. So if you're that person that likes to get to the temple and maybe do a couple circles and then start to lighten up each time you circle so that way they know you're about to leave the body. That's a great way to leave them so that way you can come and whisper to them, my oh God, <laughs> so they can get rid of you. You don't have to say we're done, but... And also think about what is it exactly. Think about what's your verbiage. Because sometimes I've walked through the treatment room and I'll see students, they're like, <laughs> like, I don't know, flat through, like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't do that. What you want me to tell you? I'll just stop it. Can we to let her know where your facial is, please? I'll give you some time to get dressed if you want another 60 seconds to lay there. Let your blood pressure adjust. Hey, right, you can. Go in and whisper that to them a little bit. You don't have to Hannibal Lester. That's about their ocean on the skin. Like, you don't have to, I mean, think about how you're whispering it to them. <laughs> 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 I'll let you do that. Oh, man, it's over. That means they're super future money. I think you did it right. So, the same thing when they do that. But think of what is your line when you're leaving them. I'm going to clean my things and we'll see like and start getting dressed to do it at your leisure. But do say that to the right person. Because some people, they think at their leisure is like, oh, I can stay here for like another 30 minutes. If you got another appointment right after that, like, all right, I'm going to go clean up my things. You can go ahead and get dressed. I'll pull the box out so that way you can reach your clothes and shoes. Like, 